Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're in Cascade, Iowa. I think that's how you say it. Uh, as of right now, um, we are still delivering the same load from the last two previous videos, I believe. I'll show you real quick. Oh man, it's cold over here. Same load. We are about an hour away and uh, we're gonna start driving. So, um, yeah. So we're about to go deliver this load already and uh, we'll see what they give us. See how the um, shipper is, haven't really looked at it yet, but we're about to do all that and uh, get on the road because we need to make some money, deliver this load and get another one. Hopefully, hopefully, um, head back home for uh, the weekend i requested it don't know if they're gonna give it to me since um i just left home not too long ago so yeah hopefully they said they they're gonna try is because i have some family stuff we need to do but who knows if they find a load i'll get it if not then sucks to suck but that's trucking so let's get on the road guys Every morning we start off by doing our pre-trip, but I don't know why I didn't record it. Should have, but we already did our pre-trip. But let me just show y'all real quick. Checking the load, make sure the straps are pretty, pretty tight. Man, there's like mud right here. I think it rained last night. Pretty sure everything's all wet. So yeah, it's not too bad. Seems like it's pretty good. Straps are pretty good, so let's hit the road. Come on. So it's currently 55 outside, and it's freaking raining. Ah, man. I hope it's not like this uh, over there where we're going to unload. I don't want to get sick, man. But, oh, well. That's trucking, I guess. I totally forgot that my wiper flew off yesterday. <laughs> oh no. And uh yeah, I haven't I haven't seen a big truck stop in uh in a while. So oh man. I think I'm gonna have to switch that one to this side for now. Dang it, I didn't wanna get wet, but oh well. We put over right here, it kinda stopped raining for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch those uh those wipers. So, yeah. Dang it. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, we found it. I don't know if y'all were able to see that, but the wiper had fallen like underneath the hood on this little plastic uh cover that it has so it was just sitting there so yeah we got hell yeah we got both wipers now all right let's go because i can't lose time we gotta get there on time let's go are always freaking nerve-wracking uh, these roads are super freaking tiny out in the country but yeah I've done like I think like two of these um, type of loads well, not loads but uh, where I have to deliver where, where it's like this and yeah, it's always nerve-wracking because you don't know if you can be able to make these little turns on the uh, on the streets like this one right here I won't be all right it's not too small but yeah man oh man but we're almost there we're about a uh, two minutes out so yeah hopefully everything goes smooth pretty quick and uh still waiting for the next load so let's see what we get so it brought us to this place but that guy within that truck just came he just let us know that it was just a little bit more back there where they're gonna unload us actually so i'm gonna go ahead and turn around and uh head on back there so we can get unloaded let's go
All right, guys. So, uh, let me see. Hopefully, y'all can see me pretty good. Um, we finished. I think, as y'all saw. Hopefully, I were able to see on the GoPro. It wasn't all wet. Um, but yeah, man. Woo! -wee. That was tough. Um, it wasn't hard to unload. It was pretty simple. But it's oh my god, it's freaking cold. But I think. I think it's making it more cold since it's raining and there's like a lot of wind. So, yeah, it feels a lot more colder. My jacket's all freaking soaked. So, yeah, I'm gonna take that off before uh, before I get sick. Oh man, but that's trucking, all right? My pants are all wet too. I requested a load already, so we're gonna wait. I'm probably gonna head somewhere maybe or i'll probably just wait here i don't know um but yeah hopefully we can get something to go home because i need to go home but if we can't then it's all right but we'll see what we get right now guys and uh i'll see you in a bit little update guys so they gave us a load um it's uh it was about an hour and 50 minutes we're an hour and 30 minutes away now it's um to pick up today and deliver it tomorrow I'm gonna try and deliver it hopefully today. Hopefully I have enough time. I have to tarp it. I don't know how big it is. Uh, yeah, hopefully I can deliver it today. So that way I can pick up something early tomorrow. And um, yeah, I don't know, maybe, I think they're trying to get me home because I, I don't know why they would give me a, this little run. Uh, but I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what happens. So yeah. Stay tuned. I'll see you guys in about an hour and a half. Uh, we got here. We are dropping off the trailer and picking up that one right there. It's another driver. Uh, not sure why this is how we're doing this, but I don't know. Maybe he has to go home or something. But uh, he's gonna get ready to take off all the tarps and move over, move everything over to my trailer, so I can take his, take all the straps off and all that. So I got the paperwork for it. We're gonna go get something to eat. Uh, here across the street, there's a Loves and a Pilot, so we're just gonna chill there until he's done. I don't wanna, I don't wanna seem like I'm hurrying him or something. So yeah, we're just gonna go chill over there, eat, play some Xbox. Either way, we're not far at all from. Oh man, it's hot. Now it's hot. Um, we're not far at all from uh, from the delivery. Uh, it's only like I think it was like 200 miles or a little bit less than that. So Yeah, we we, we are not far at all. So either way um, yeah, There's no way I was gonna drop it off today Maybe I could have if it had no tarp and anything like that But since I still have to tarp everything and all that uh, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to deliver it today because it's already I think it's like two or something like that Let's see uh, yeah, it's about to be two, so yeah, there's no way we're gonna get over there before five if they close before five, so Yeah Yeah, so we're gonna deliver tomorrow morning and man, hopefully we get something else because that load is not paying It's not paying good at all. I mean, it's, it's paying for the day, I guess, but Yeah, it's not where I wanted to be for the week at all so yeah, hopefully we get something else that we can deliver before Sunday and they'll go on the same paycheck. So yeah, I will see what happens. So we got our food. We got some Denny's here at the pilot. And uh, I decided we're gonna go park um, pretty close over there where I can see when uh, the other driver is done with the uh, untarping and all that. So yeah, we're gonna park over there, eat and uh, I don't know, just wait, I guess. Pretty pretty relaxing day, I guess, even though I have to tarp this load, but I mean, it didn't look too hard. It's uh, about two tarps, but it's it's pretty simple, I guess. Hopefully, hopefully, I don't want to jinx myself, but yeah, let's go. Right, guys, so we got back. I hooked up to the trailer, what we're gonna take. Uh, I guess I thought he was gonna just go home i guess or something but i didn't realize that he drives a volvo so this is the volvo um dealership volvo and matt i think you see that 
sign right there. So I'm guessing he put his truck in the, into the shop. So, but he's still here. So I guess I'm gonna go ahead and start tarping and all of that so he can get out on the road. So, yep, let's go. I'm gonna try, see if this works. Put you on the GoPro so I can show y'all how um, I secure everything and uh, kind of uh, how I tarp and all that. But even though I'm not pretty good at that, but anyways, let's go.
All right, well, that's the tarp. Uh, it ain't too bad, I guess. It wouldn't reach right there, but uh, that's how the other driver had it, so should be all right. Only going three hours. Hopefully it doesn't rain, but yep, not too bad, not too bad. That's this side over here. I mean, I guess I'm getting a little better. I should have put this back one underneath the first one, but I forgot. But it's all right. We will just put a strap right where it uh, right where it starts. Throw a strap right here, and uh, it should hold it. Should be all right, hopefully. Like I said, we're only going like three hours, so yeah. Let's start, let's start throwing the straps. Let's go. All right, guys. So uh, we finished, and uh, yeah, I'm in the truck because it's freaking windy outside. So I don't know if y'all gonna be able to hear me, but we're about to head over to. Um, it's technically it's technically Chicago. It's right next to it. We are about two hours and 39 minutes away. So not too bad. We still have about four and a half hours to drive. I think. Uh, let's see here. Okay. All right. Yep. Four hours and 28 minutes. So, yeah. Let me show you the load real quick. I took my shoes, but it's all right. Uh, eh, eh. Yeah, I'll put these on. Put them on for now. Gotta have the boots and the shoes. All right. There's the load. Like I said earlier, it didn't really reach down here. All the way but man should be all right like i said the, hopefully y'all can hear me with the wind but the other driver had it like that too so should be all right i hope it's not raining but it's all good but yeah guys that's the load i feel like i'm getting a little better oh man well yeah let's get in the truck because it's uh it's freaking windy, so yeah. Woo man. All right, guys, but yeah, like I was saying, that's the that's the load. So let's uh, let's get on the road and go deliver this tomorrow at eight in the morning. We're gonna deliver. I'm not sure I'm gonna include this or that in this video, or I'm not sure yet. But we'll see when I when I get to where I'm gonna get uh, tonight. So let's go, let's get on the road. 